Happy Saturday morning from the Johnsons. Oh, Bombi. We have a very relaxed Cody. And Griffin is really happy because there are birds outside. So she's been watching the birds all morning. This is what Saturdays should be, huh? Instead of traveling around to go see people. Right. What do you think, Bombi? You like us being around? <laughs> Meanwhile, I am butt. editing. Yay! Your butt. What? I just want to have the record show you were telling Bombadil to give me your butt. This butt felt weird. It's butt. <laughs> Bombadil, you gotta stop biting, dude. We'll get there eventually. I'm getting my steps in. So today, I was a little bit bad, but I also don't think it's a bad thing. So, what I did today, which you guys will see this coming week, is I put together everything for the fitness vlog. Yay! Um, you'll see, I did, I did, I spent like, you'll see, I spent like three hours just trying to get graphics done. Um, and this morning, we didn't like get out of bed till 10, so we've had a pretty slow morning. So I didn't get out of bed till like 10. Then I went straight into editing the vlog after we made breakfast. That was like 11. I was done by 1. We went and got lunch around 2 because we spent some time like getting ready, like taking showers and stuff. And then uh, from 3 till now, and it is 6.15. I've been working on the fitness vlog and all of the graphics and things like that. So I'm super proud of them, but it was a lot to do. So uh, right now, when I started, I had about 1,300 steps at six o'clock at night. So I have almost 9,000 steps to go. I've got Game Grumps on and I'm just gonna get my steps in. Um, I'm not gonna run because at this point, I think it's more important to get my steps in. Um, I'm also, I wore something cute today, and it's comfy. I don't want to sweat in it. But I'm still going to get my steps. It won't be crazy, but since it's all in a row, all my active minutes will be, it'll, it'll probably show that I've been doing, like, active minutes for, like, an hour. Um, so it's not great, but I'm still going to get everything. That's my goal. Um, but I didn't want to take away from the fitness vlog. Hey, hey, Cody. What? What are we doing? We're getting fish stuff. We're going like to get... I think I'm going to get some plants. Oh, I think we should. That's really cool, actually. I didn't even know you could, like, get those. Oh, yeah. No, I totally it's think we like, should. It's just, like, a bunch of different ones. Yeah. It's not ideal. No, we totally should. This I is exciting. An onion. Ooh. And a water lily. Ooh. What kind of fish do you want to get? Well, you know, that's a good question. I, mean, I got to figure out what kind of thing I want to get first. Okay. <laughs> so while Cody's doing that, I am going to check out fish. <laughs> Guess who dropped the sprinkles on the floor? Are you filming this? <laughs> Why? And he's mad now because he has to clean it up and they're really tiny and really light and they're circles so they just Go roll everywhere. everywhere. Well, that's good. I needed to sweep the floor in here anyway, so. You can still see some right here. I got them because they were pretty on top of the, uh, the gray stuff mousse. Yeah, well then I threw them all on the ground. Yay! You know what we should talk about though? What should we talk about? I think I have a pretty solid plan for what plants I want to put where in our uh, house. I oh! My parents. Do we want to talk about this on camera or talk about this as ourselves? I think it's a worthy thing to talk about on camera. Oh, okay. I thought you heard all, overheard a lot of this. I heard, overheard some of it, but... Well, basically, what it is is that my parents know, like, everything about plants. Especially, and especially Indiana plants. Yes. Because that's, like, their thing. So they're a good thing to, t like, they just know a lot. So I can ask them questions and they just, like, rattle off 10 billion plants and I'm like, Geez, have I ever even heard of a plant before? But <laughs> Comparatively. Anyways, I found some really cool flowery bushes that I think we can put in the back and in the front. It'll cool. look nice. And there's still little freaking... Come on! Work with me, seeds. There's one right there. I zoomed in, in on it. everywhere. I still see it. It's by your foot. But 
<laughs> there are these things called burning bushes that I'm really excited about. I want a red bud tree. Here, right here, honey. <sighs> okay, you know what? It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's not gonna. Oh, burn. so it's gonna be like the pine leaf needles, right? Where we'll still be finding them months later. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. That's anyway, so burning bush. So burning bushes are neat. They don't put out a flower though. But then I think it was tulip bushes, teacup tulips or teacup something. I have them all saved in, in like a file. Um, well, actually, what I did was I opened a wall up in Chrome, and now I can go back through and take notes of what I want. But, yeah, so there's like these pretty flower, and then there's these kind of taller flowery bushes that I'm going to put along the back, like they have, that have turned yellow. Ooh. They put out like a yellow flower. They're really cool. Um, and then, oh, shoot, what did my mom say the state tree was? I have to, I gotta ask about the trees. They told me too many trees too fast for me to write them all down. Ugh. But I want to get a pawpaw tree. Ugh, nope, come here. Which puts out like a weird banana fruit thing. So we'll have pawpaws. And then um, I also want to get a birch tree, which this is dorky because I like birch trees in Minecraft. But there were also birch. There was also a birch tree in front of my church growing up. Okay. So that's why I want birch trees. So now is that going to fall in my, I really want like a sturdy tree that like is very, that has a lot of like leaves and stuff on top. Yes. Very they're maple all They're all deciduous trees, except for red buds are little, the rest of them are larger trees. Yeah. I can show you pictures of all these. Cool. We'll take a look later. I'll put, I'll, I'll pop up pictures as he's talking about them right a here. domestic or an American disease resistant elm tree which is what my grandpa had, and I remember cutting it down, and the thing was gigantic. So that's perfect. Great. Because the thing was just massive. Perfect. We had to pull it over with like a truck. It was a mess. Sounds like fun. Oh man, that was a, that was a time. Here's our aquarium. I'm very excited. We don't have any fish yet, but we're going to have fish. It's gonna be awesome. I'm like super stoked. Also, my brush is there. I need to move that off the table. <laughs> and we got a little castle. It's cute for a fish to come in and out of. Go. Looking good, guys. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is, a, this is post um, coloring. Uh, Cody didn't really notice a difference right at first. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't notice a difference right at first either. And actually the camera makes it a lot worse because you can still see. But before I had like chunk, chunk, dark. Now it's more blended in. So, and this is lighter. This is definitely lighter. So I'm not like beach blonde. We didn't, um, we didn't bleach it, but I think it's gonna be okay. So, and then uh, by the time summer comes around, I'll be chopping like, a bunch off and then it'll be like half and half so it'll be fine <laughs> we're being bad got dairy queen it's been a hard day guys <laughs> cody's very enamored by our new fish that's what you get them for right to be enamored by them yeah so there they are they're two little uh what they call them swordfish tails or something sword like sword tails yeah sword tails uh, i think it's red sword tails since they're both orange, I think we should name them after Weasleys. But uh, Cody is still debating. I'm still thinking. He keeps giving dumb names. Oh, guys, they're so pretty. So I know it's really hard to see her, but guess who's very into the fish? I can't zoom in anymore, but Griff, you can see her moving. There she is. Look at this brat. Don't eat my fish. Hey, Griff. I think she just wants to watch him. We do have something you can kind of see. We have something on top so that uh, she can't just reach in. But I legit think she just wants to watch him right now. I guess we'll see how this goes. Frickin' Griffin, you are just falling into every cat stereotype. 